So if you're here today, you've probably come to the realization that Flash Player is no more. However, there is a solution. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and of course, leave the video with a like. So I'm gonna show you a solution for Firefox, Chrome and Windows Explorer in this video. It is actually pretty straightforward for most of the browsers, apart from one, but we'll come on to that in a bit. And the full inspiration for this, literally credits to Celica. I will post a link to the channel down below. Anyway, so for this, as you can see, the first thing you're going to want to do is head along and uninstall your Flash Player. Now that may seem crazy, but at the minute it's no use to you anyway, so you might as well go and get rid of it if your PC hasn't done that automatically for you anyway. Once you've ran that, it will tell you that you need to restart. I didn't bother, so don't know if that actually affected anything or not. It didn't seem to, it seemed to be fine. Anyway, so there's a zip folder that I'm going into. Again, the link for this is in the description and you will have to download it. You have got Firefox, Windows X and Chrome all pointed out for you on screen. The Windows Explorer and Firefox are exactly the same and I'll show you what you need to do. So, long story short, you just need to double click on Firefox for example, which will run off the Flash installer. Very straightforward, comes up pretty much instantly. On mine, I did get this message and then I could just hit run because it's still in a zipped folder. You can choose to unzip it if you like, but it honestly doesn't make a blind bit of difference. So before you all panic about all these weird files, I have gone through it with my antivirus and it is all clear, so don't panic too much on that front. As you can see, it's literally the proper flash installer. Once that has completed, you will get three options appear. You want to make sure you tick the bottom box, which basically says never update because you definitely don't want that to happen. Otherwise, this will just stop working again which I thought would be pretty obvious. Anyway, so into Firefox we go, or if you chose to do the Windows Explorer one, you can go into there, make sure you click allow on the pop-up, and you will see that, lo and behold, it is now going to load up Flash and Avenge Quest for us, which is brilliant if for some reason you don't want to get the launcher. Honestly, guys, just get the launcher. It is 10 times easier. But if you have to play it on the web, this is probably the easiest way for you guys to go about it. Anyway, so Google Chrome. This one is a bit of a pain. So you want to click on this installer down here, same principle again, just run it. The start of this is identical. You are not going to do anything different. So when the flash installer does eventually appear for us, we can again just hit on that install button once you've accepted it. And then it will go through, run the blue bar right across the screen, which will look absolutely lovely. And once it has finished doing that, make sure tick in the bottom box, exit out of it, and that is all done. However, before you can go into Chrome, you need to follow where I'm going. So you want to go into your C drive and then into the Windows folder. Once you're in there, you want to scroll down and find the System32 folder. At this point, the next folder you want to drill into is the Macromad one. And within this, you'll see a Flash folder. Now, the reason we've gone into here is because we need to pick up this DLL file right down the bottom. Once you have, make sure you have copied it. Then type in percent local app data percent, which will take you directly where you need to go. Alternatively, I will show you the other route that you can go on. So the other way you can get to where I just went is back into your C drive again. If you go into users, into your own one, then you want to tap into app data. That may be hidden, so you may have to unhide it. Then into the local folder, and then you're at the exact same place as to the shortcut I showed you just a second ago. So whichever way you go about it, you'll then want to go into the Google folder, into the Chrome folder, then it is user data, and finally into Pepper Flash. Now once you're in there, you want to paste the file that we copied earlier. Some of you may find that it's actually an extra folder level in there, which is basically a long version number. You can just drill into that, and then you can paste the file that we need into there. Now, all you want to do on this file is literally take out, make sure you're keeping the .dll in, but the version number, basically just rename it so it looks how it does on screen in just a second. You may find there is another pet flash player DLL in there, just make sure you delete that before you rename the one that you pasted in. And once you've done that, you can head on to Chrome and enable Flash. Make sure Flash is enabled again. You will have to quickly do that, but it should prompt you to. And then there you go. You're through. You're into Avenge Quest on Chrome yet again. And 2021 continues with us playing on the browser we always used to. Well, if you did. But seriously, guys, if you haven't got the launcher, just get it. it there's no saying how long that method will work for. So just honestly, if you just download it, your life will be 10 times easier in the future when they eventually change it probably again. But guys, I hope that helps you out for now. Make sure you leave a bit of a like and of course subscribe and I'll be back very soon for another video which will be the news tomorrow. So until then, have a lovely day.